adorable, and very modern, way Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stay in touch when they're thousands of miles apart. The royal family aren't always associated with cutting-edge technology. The Queen sent her first and by all means only tweet in late 2014, while Prince Charles presumably thinks a Snapchat is a particular type of exotic bird. But Prince Harry and his new fiancée Meghan Markle could be set to bring a new lease of life to the royal family with their modern take on the fairy tale romance. They've already moved in together, which would have raised eyebrows within the establishment even 30 years ago, and Meghan has smashed the stuffy royal consort stereotype by being a divorcee. And now it's been revealed that the soon-to-be newlyweds have an adorably modern way of staying in touch when they're far apart, as much of their relationship has been long distance while Meghan lived in Toronto to film suits. According to E! News, the couple are big texters and love nothing more than beat chats via SMS. Harry is also a keen collector of gifts and likes to send his bride lots of emojis to express his love. And the miracle of Facetime is said to have played the huge role in their relationship which they use every day when they're apart. Since their engagement was announced last week, the lovebirds have been separated once again as Meghan jets back home to Los Angeles to visit her mom Tori Aranland, and to show off that enormous diamond ring. But she'll be back in London later this month as it's widely rumored that she'll be joining Harry and his extended family at the Queen's Norfolk estate for Christmas. A Sandringham invitation is not usually extended to people outside the Queen's family. Even Kate Middleton had to wait until she'd married Prince William in 2011 to join them for Christmas, but sources believe Meghan will be there for most if not all of the festive celebrations. The 36-year-old actress revealed that she's already on good terms with Harry's immediate family, having spent cozy evenings in with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at their cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace and meeting their children. Prince George and Princess Charlotte. She's also had two informal meetings with the Queen, which took place over afternoon tea. Speaking in the couple's first joint television interview, Meghan recalled the first time she was introduced to the monarch. It's incredible, I think, you know, a to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he is for her as his grandmother. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her I had such a deep understanding and of course incredible respect for being able to have that time with her, she said. She's an incredible woman. Meghan has also spent plenty of time with Harry's father, Prince Charles, at his home in Clarence House, so she'll have plenty of people to chat to over Christmas. 